So today I'm taking the, I guess you'd call them tractor tires, I don't, I'm, the egg tires, I don't know, high traction lug tires as they're called on here. Off the mower, putting the turf tires on. I already got the one off. I had to find a way to jack this up because I didn't think of it till afterwards, but I don't have a jack. I have a jack in the truck for the truck. I didn't think of using it on this for some reason. I just used to block and levered it up, shoved up some wood underneath there. It'll hold it. Um, things do look pretty good under here. I'm going to see if there's any adjustment on the speed lever because it doesn't, it's got a detent all the way at the end and it doesn't stick in that detent which would be nice that way I don't have to keep one hand on it while mowing. Um, but I don't have a lot of battery on the phone today, uh, so I don't know how much filming I'm going to get done. But that's what I'm doing. It's just easy. Take lug nuts off, change tires. Everybody should know how to do it. Alright, that's that. Okay. They're on. Um, obviously I liked <laughs> the look of the other ones better. But... These will tear up the yard a lot less. Um, the rims on these ones, it might be hard for you to guys to tell, are painted silver. Those are painted white. The front ones are white. I do like the silver look on those though. So I might, I don't know, I'll have to look at pictures of what these looked like originally. I might paint these ones silver. I don't know. Eventually. That's down the road. I'm not doing it today, obviously. Um, I did poke around a little bit under there to see if I can see where that's dripping oil at. It's just leaky hydraulic valves. Um, just the fittings on them, so I'm not worried about it. I'm not going to mess with them much. It does. I do want to get an original size battery eventually for it. If I don't have to worry about cranking it over. Um, the motor mounts. This motor... It's hard for you guys to see, but it does jiggle in there quite a bit, especially when first starting it up and it's hitting and missing. It just shakes quite a lot, actually. Um, the hood also, like all this rattles. I put this on top, try holding that down. The muffler in here just rattles. Um, there's supposed to be um, a hose clamp kind of a thing, a big one that goes around the muffler and through this hole here, obviously underneath this shroud here, to help hold all that steady. I'm going to see if I can find one. Um, that in the hood, you can see where it's rubbing here. Rubs along all that right up here. That makes a lot of noise. You can see colored rub spots in there. Mm, it's freaking out. All right, I'm gonna cut it there. The phone battery's pretty low. I don't know. I don't want it to die on me halfway through a sentence. All right, so might add this to another video. I don't know, but that's that. Talk to you later. Okay, so charge my phone up. Um, I think the last I videoed was changing the tires on that. But what I wanted to show you is I went to some garage sales today. I went to one this morning, one this afternoon. This is what I scored this morning. This, in excellent condition for what it is, single line gas boat gas tank. Didn't come with the hose, but that's all right. Um, pay five dollars for that. This was in the free pile. It's the sonar for um, a boat. This. Roll of Romex was five bucks. There's a good, I don't know if I had to guess 15, 20 foot there yet, which is a good deal. And I got the solar panel. It's about a foot by maybe 20 inches with the alligator clips. There's the specs on it. That was free too. And then on the way home from picking the kids up from school, I noticed another one. Well, another sale. This one I got an even better deal at. I got that first one I spent like 15 bucks. This propane tank is 10 bucks. And 
Everything in this box was $10. I got an old snap-on ratchet. An old brace. I've been wanting to get one of these. This one I don't think is name brand. It's in good shape though. And this piece of leather on there. Nailed on. That same plane flown over like at least once a day for like the last couple weeks. And then I got a bunch of old planes. This is a Stanley number 118. This one here, oh, I didn't see that before. I don't know what company this one is. I guess we'll find out together. Inneb Tool Foundry Company. Oh, I'll have to clean that up a little better. And then I got this wrench here, a little dog bone wrench made in Japan. Suntech. I don't know if that's old or not. I don't have one like that, so it'll help. Um, oh, there it is. See, I thought there was another plane. This tiny little plane. I think this is a cheaper one. I mean, cheaper than Stanley's and stuff. And this one, well, I can't get it out yet. Oops, sorry. Soldering kit here. Like I said, all of this was a dollar. Both guns. The original paper still in there in really good shape. That is for an actual torch. I don't know. What is these? I don't know. Oh, there we go. Wood repair help melt hot melt glue sticks. Oh, that's a glue gun and a soldering iron. I didn't even notice that. So that's handy. The soldering iron is almost like it's new. There's only a couple times. It's got a couple different tips in there. One brand new one. Flux brush. Okay, and then the big plane. This one's a foot long. It is a trustworthy brand. Got a big stamp there. I don't know a whole lot about planes, but I do know some of them are really hard to find. And I've been in the need of one. And then I got this flaring tool for not brake lines, but it looks like the cone on that. Yeah, it's got the divots and stuff in it. I don't know what that'd be for. But, for a buck, can't go wrong. Um, it does all different size, it looks like. Yeah, all that for a dollar. So, I think I did, or feel I did pretty good. Not money wasted. And it's stuff I've needed anyways. The soldering iron, the planes. I don't have a drill. If you've watched my other videos, I talk about that. So this will come in handy. It is a ratcheting one. I just gotta get some bits for it. The ratchet, I didn't need another ratchet, but... I mean, that right there is worth at least a dollar. <laughs> this one missing one screw, but... I'm gonna have to find one for that. Just don't make them like that no more. So yeah, that's that. Um, lay this all out. Yeah, get a picture of it. Send it to my brother Steve. I was telling him about this. But yeah, um, that's that. If you like the video, like, comment on the video. If you got any questions or anything, um, hit the subscribe button. You get to see all my videos that way. Doesn't cost anything. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching.